this a new video from Impy? Oh my goodness, it's been a while since it, 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 I think it's been at least over eight days since I since my last video. I've gotta turn off that stupid fan so we can get out of my way. In any case, we're back with some more interesting move sets that I'm gonna be starting off again now that I'm back at, at least for at least for a week. Oh my goodness, but in any case, let's get on with the video. So today I'm going to be covering my furfro. That is right, my tacticians. I'm covering my furfro. I don't know if I've done the furfro squad before or whatever. In any case, first furfro. You all know the drill. First two furfro, they're going to be somewhat standardized movesets. Third one is going to be something, you know, going to be a little weird, going to be out there, but it's going to be an interesting moveset and it's going to be really, really powerful. And then the fourth one, well, it's going to be an insane, it'd be what are you thinking moveset. So, let's get started. So, first fur fro. So, it's going to be a standard choice banded fur fro jolly nature. And the theory behind this fur fro is that we're going to be going for some revenge retaliating fur fro. So this Super Pro is going to be, you know, making use of the Choice Band. We're going to go for a Jolly Nature, and we're going to be going off with the Retaliate move. Then that's going to be our first move. We're also going to be using V-Turn, you know, for our, like, a standard move standard move if we're not going to be going for any revenges. And we're going to be going with the U-Turn. So U-Turn is going to be one of those moves where, you know, if we don't know, if we don't like what we're seeing, if we don't really want to stay with our fur row and we're just going to u-turn out and of course we're going to be using retaliate so that's where most of the firepower that this fur row will bring to bear if it, you know if he if our opponent is going to knock out one of our pokemon we can u-turn out u-turn into the pokemon that will get knocked out and then come back with a super powerful choice banded retaliate move from the fur row assuming it's not a ghost type or a steel type one of those two in any case, anything else will, you know, this fur fro will easily deal with. And we also put the facade. I put facade on for, you know, in case we get paralyzed, or poisoned, or burned, you know. If we, you know, end up getting burned or whatever, we can go for a facade. And that will actually be even more powerful than the return that we would have with max happiness. So that's going to be our first move set. Second move set, we're going to be going for a choice. Furfro. So this is actually a move set that I myself have run quite effectively, mind you. It has been it has been proven very powerful with Furfro. And this is one thing I love about the Furfro, the fact that it can do so much despite being no just this is the blue poodle from Kalos. So in any case, onto the move set as onto the move set as I was saying. So first of all, we're gonna be going for a modest a modest Furfro with you know, max special attack, max speed. We're gonna go for choice spec to give ourselves that oh so necessary powerful special attack. Because Furfro doesn't have a lot in terms of special attacking power. But it does have four movesets that I really like to make use of. First of which is gonna be the Dark Pulse. This will help us deal with one of our biggest problems, and that's gonna be ghost type Pokemon. Then we're going to be going for our stab boosted hyper voice that does a lot of damage people let me tell you a a, spe a choice specs hyper voice from a furfro with modest nature does quite a bit of damage then we got surf so this furfro is mostly going to be for singles but it can run in doubles you got to be careful if you're going to be running surf on the furfro because you could accidentally knock out your own pokemon if you're not careful and finally we got the charge beam so that we can increase our power as we keep using it over and over again. And it, 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 it helps us deal with certain Pokemon like say water type Pokemon or, or for example the flying types. It can help us with those types of Pokemon. Now for the third moveset. This is going to be a little strange but this is also another moveset that I myself have run very very frequently. And that is going to be the normal Liam Z workup for Fro. So, for those of you who don't know, I think I covered this multiple times, but if you use the move Workup and combine it with a normal Z crystal, you will give yourself two stages of attacking power in the physical attack category, as well as one into the special attack. So, if you're going for, like, say, a pure physical attacking purple, you can make use of the normal Z crystal. 
Now, I put the Cotton Guard up here just to, you know, increase my physical defenses, just to give Purple even more sustaining firepower in the in terms of the defense category. The fur coat, you know, it does a help, it helps you out, but you can't go wrong with a plus three physical defense fur pro. And, you know, if you get that plus two physical attack up, this fur pro can actually sweep very hard with return and sucker punch. You get, you get your return for stab damage, and if you think your opponent is going to outspeed you, you can go for the sucker punch. That's the power of the fur pro. I have done this, I've pulled a lot of shenanigans against people with this fur pro before. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for. Impy, what are you thinking with this assault vested fur pro that doesn't have any moves? Alright, I'm just going to be honest with you, I have no idea what I was doing with this fur pro. It's just an assault vested fur pro I forgot to put the moves on. But in all honesty, you can pretty much whatever, run whatever you want. You can run facade, for example, first. For the same reason as the second fur or for the first fur pro, you can go for return for stab damage, sucker punt to help you counter ghost types, and U-turn if you just want to deal damage. And, of course, we're going to be running the Adamant Nature Fur Pro with the max speed and max physical attacking power, so that's pretty much it! It's a salt vested Fur Pro to help you protect against special attack, you got your fur coat to help you with your natural defenses, it's awesome sauce, I tell you. Awesomeness! I'm a genius! <laughs> so in any case, let's go on down the line once again. We're going to be starting off with first pro our choice bandit Fur Pro. So it's going to be Revenge Fur Pro going for retaliate damage. Facade damage, return damage, and you turning out damage. Enough said. Toy Specs Fur Pro is going to be our second Fur Pro. And obviously, it's similar to the first Cho Choice Band Fur Pro, Toy Specs only. With Dark Pulse, Hyper Voice, Surf, and Charge Beam with Modest Nature, etc, etc. Enough said. Then we go on down to Fur Pro with Normally in the Z Workup. That's going to deal a lot of damage if you can get the combo up. And if you don't want to take the risk of setting, taking that one turn to set up, you just need to hit your opponent with some damage, you can go for a normal EMZ return. That's set. And of course you got the Sucker Punch to help you deal with Ghost Types and Outspeed Pokemon. And finally, Impy, what are you thinking with this Assault Vested Purple with Facade, Return, Sucker Punch, and U-Turn? You know, I don't know what I was really thinking with the Purple, but it makes some sense in my book. Nope. It makes some sense. You got your fur coat to help you to end your physical attacks. Why not just throw in the assault vest to improve your special defenses? So there you go, people. There you go, my tacticians. I hope you all make use of these moves. I hope you all are happy to have the Reshiram back once again. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!